Hello friends, welcome to my channel Electrical Master. This video I'm going to explain about how to do the automatic water tank system using float switch. Let's go to the video. Before going to the video, we need to understand what is float switch, how it is functioning. See this picture. This is the float switch. Normally this float switch come up with the three wire terminals, red wire used for the normal close contact and blue wire terminal used for normal open contact and black wire terminal used for the common supply. See this is the pin diagram of float switch. When we are giving the supply to the common, uh, when the switch in a closed condition, you will receive output in the NO. This is the closing condition of the float switch. Whenever the switch is in flow, closed condition, see this float in the horizontal position. So float position will be in horizontal. This is the water tank. When the water tanks are having full uh, full limit of water, then float will be more upward and it will settle in the horizontal position. At that time, this float switch will be closed. So we will receive the output, whatever you are giving the common, ter common terminal, you can receive from the NO side. Normally, uh, this uh, switch closed position we are using for to cut off the water pump or tan of the water pump. Similarly, when water level get reduced, you can see here the this is the full water. And gradually, water level is getting reduced. This float will be moved downward. When it is come to the complete vertical position, see this is the vertical position of the float switch. When it come up to the vertical position, this float will be open. See, this is the switch will be now open. At that time, this whatever the common supply we are giving here, you can receive from the NC terminal. Normally, this switch open position we are using for to turn on the water pump. Now you will understand how the float switch is working. Switch closing condition and the opening condition. Closing condition means float will be in horizontal position. Closing condition means float will be in open condition means float will be in a vertical conditions, vertical position. Okay. Now we will see how do we connect the float switch to the water pump to control automatic operations. This is the water tank and here is the water pump. Now we are giving the power supply to the water pump through two pole MCB. This is a single single phase uh, water pump. So phase neutral will come up. It will connect it through the magnetic contactor, power terminal 1 and 2. Similarly, power terminal output side 1 and 2 will taken to connect motors, water pump. Okay. Whenever this magnetic contactor get energized, it will allow the power supply to turn on the motor. Now we will see the how we can control this magnetic conductor. Normal, uh, this float switch I already told, there will be three uh, wire terminal will be there. Black, red and blue. Black user for the common supply, red user for the normally close contact and blue user for normal open contact. So we want to turn on the pump because the water level is getting low. At the time, this float will be in vertical position. So whatever we are giving the common supply here, you can receive it from the NC terminal. So what we will do, we are taking the neutral to connect to the common supply. When the switch will be in the open position, at the time, this common will close to the normally close contact. Then the same neutral will be received from the normally close contact. It will be connected to the A2 terminal of the magnetic contactor. And A1 will be connected from directly taken one loop wire from power supply to connected in the A1. So now the magnetic contactor get energized and it will transfer the power from main supply to the water pump. So water pump will be on. Clear? Similarly, when the water will be getting uh, increased, see here, gradually it is getting increased, that float will be more upward. When it's a complete uh, full level of the water tank, this float will be in become horizontal position. At the horizontal position, float will be closed. So when the float will be closed means whatever the common supply we are giving here, it will be connected to the inward side. So NC become open. So the NC whatever uh, we are connecting, it will become open. So it will no power available. So A2 will not receive no more neutral. So what will happen? This magnetic contactor will be de-energized. So it will cut off the power from main MCB to the 
water pump so water pump will be off similarly when the water getting reduced again the water pump will be turned on so automatic controlling system here you can see i am taking uh, this float switch common supply will be the neutral the reason is normally this float switch come up with the complete uh, uh, leakage current protection even though for safety purpose we need to uh, ensure that it will not leakage any current to the water that's why i'm taking the neutral connection to the common so neutral there will be no current flow so that's why it only used for to control the magnetic conductor to turn on and turn off so phase supply directly we are feeding through the magnetic conductor to the water pump only safety purpose i change this wiring connection i hope now you will understand the concept how we can do the automatic water pump system for our home if you really like this video give a thumbs up and share this video to your friends and thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you